Well, good afternoon. Magandang hapon and welcome to today's episode of my PI Dream. Today, as you can see, I've got the old bandsaw out right now. We're going to do a project, a DIY project here today. And we're going to talk about the term here in the Philippines, utang na loob. If you're Filipino, you definitely know what this term is and the power behind it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get today's episode started. Now, without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Now, as I said in the introduction, I want to talk a little bit about the term utang na loob. Uh, it's a very special term, and it actually means if you were to translate it uh, verbatim, it would be uh, debt of gratitude. And that's something that, that is held in very high respect here inside the Philippines, especially if you do something for somebody. When you do something very nice for somebody, then when they receive that, they want to be able to do something really nice back for you. Here, let me give you an example, right here down in the basement. Now, you know we get lots and lots of visitors here at Villa Feliz. I'm gonna say over 100 people will come, and people will bring gifts every now and then, like, like our friends Dave and Mary Lou Hodgson up in Laguna, remember we did a video, and they made this for us down here, which is very, very special. This is handmade, this is handmade, and this is our stage which is basically this stage right here, you see? And they did, they, they made something really, really special. And, and that was done by hand. And when you do something by hand, it becomes, there's a, a very uh, special thing because you know of all the hard work and the thought that went into the project. Now we want to thank everybody. We don't want to discount all the folks that have, have come and visit us and they brought them maybe like a bottle of wine or some delicacies from the area where they're coming from. I don't want to discount, and I want to thank everybody who did that. But today, I am going to do something sort of to return uh, as thanks for all the kindness one of my friends did for us here. Anyway, uh, my friend, Eddie Cantata, uh, you've seen him in other videos that we've had here, whether gathering back inside uh, the pavilion for Saturday night, uh, Saturday night live at Villa Feliz, or on the golf course. Remember, I've gone with him many times. You've probably seen uh, any of the, the Mount Malorai videos that we've done. You've seen us together out there. But anyway, he, I always borrow his, I always borrow his golf clubs and things like that, and he always brings me out as a guest and as a uh, debt of gratitude. I want to make something special for him today. So anyway, he brought me over this piece of wood uh, a couple of weeks ago. This piece of wood right here. And he said, James, can you do something with this? You know, uh, we do cigar night when we do our Saturday Night Live Villa Feliz. He said, can you make, maybe make me an ashtray, a cigar ashtray? Well, that's what we're going to do today. So I, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do for design. Uh, basically, there's going to be a circle cut out inside here. It'll be lower, and we'll put several, about three little notches inside for the cigar to sit in. We'll do a nice finish on it. Uh, but we have this big chunk of raw wood right here. Uh, this is a tree trunk. Yeah, maybe it was cut down on one of the projects around here when they were doing some tree clearing. I don't know where Eddie got this from. Uh, so my idea is we'll probably cut this off somewhere in the middle right here, and then uh, we'll cut it using uh, the bandsaw right here, and then we'll do some planing, cleaning up. We'll knock off a bunch of this bark. You can leave the bark on, but over time, if you leave the bark on, uh, what will probably happen, even if you put some type of preservative like a shellac or something on there, it will end up chipping off. So we'll try cutting off some of this right here, clean it up. Uh, like I said, we'll cut the grooves for the cigars, drop the bowl down a little bit lower, and uh, well, let's go ahead and get started. We'll see how it goes. Well, obviously you can see we have a problem here. I didn't anticipate this. I didn't think about the maximum cutting depth of the bandsaw. Uh, it's not gonna work.
As you can see, I use this sacrificial piece of wood right here that I rounded out as my template using this bit right here with a, a roller right here. This is a bearing. And the bearing went around this and cut a little bit more of the edge of the uh, cigar ashtray here. Then we're going to use something called a bowl and tray bit. You can see this bowl and tray bit right here. And you see it's rounded on the bottom. It's gonna go down like this. And what the, we're, we're trying to achieve is along the bottom right here, we get a nice rounded edge, so we have to do a minimal amount of sanding and we'll be the same all the way around. Using that guide that we used when we used this template here, and we used the router bit there. Now, that I did the pass all the way around. You can see it's really nice and smooth here, but I'm going to do a second pass with the same bit uh, because I want it to be just below all this area that I'm going to be sanding right here. So I'd rather the center be a little bit higher than this corner right here, because later on we're gonna come with a sander, uh, a pneumatic sander and get inside here and bring the level down so it'll be nice and clean from the corner to the center of the ashtray. <laughs> Now here it is the next morning. I was hoping I could close up a lot of this project last night, but what ended up happening is the delivery that I was expected for that pneumatic sander, the two, three inch pneumatic sander to do the sanding of the inside of the bowl. Well, it's on delay. It won't be here for another week or two. So I'm gonna to have to come up with a alternative way of doing the cleanup of the bottom of the bowl. Uh, so I come up with something, let me share that with you now. So let me show you what I came up with. I think this will work. I took a piece of polycarbon. This was a piece of leftover polycarbon from an earlier project. And I cut it out a little bit bigger than the size of the cigar ashtray. And I made a hole in the center so that I could put the, the bit from the, the router bit here, uh, the bowl and tray router bit, through the center of it. So basically what I'm going to do is put this through here. It'll go through the bottom. I'll set it at the same level as the the corner here, remember what we did earlier, and then I'll let it clean up this space right here, and it should, it should work. Let's see how that works out. I gotta show you something. I think this is really cool. I really got tired of using doing the manual sand <laughs> in the bottom of the bowl. So I said, there's gotta be a better way while I'm waiting on my uh, sander to come in that I ordered. So I got to thinking, I said, oh, maybe this will work. I found some parts inside my, uh, my tool chest. And well, let me show you what I did. So I went and I grabbed my grinder. I got to thinking with the grinder, Grinder pad might fit inside here, and it actually does uh, compared to the sand over here, which is too big. Anyway, uh, this is not part of the the grinder uh, pad that has the Velcro on the other side. It's actually a bolt. You can see I cut off the top of the bolt. This was up on here. I cut off and I screwed it down inside the pad, and then I cut out from a piece of sandpaper and I went ahead, the one that normally goes on the sander, and I went ahead and put it on here. Uh, so let me show you how, how this works. It works really well. So now, using my drill and a modified grinder pad with some sandpaper on it, I can actually go inside here. Now how cool is that?
think it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, a little bit of personalization on the back uh, to let a friend know that a friend made this for them. Well, there you have it. That is our project for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we learned two things today. Well, maybe three, one of them being that Mary Ann's a really lazy dog. You see her in the background all the time. <laughs> but the, the main two things that you learned today was how to build something yourself. Build a cigar ashtray. And even if you don't smoke cigars, you might have a friend uh, that would think it would be really neat for a personalized uh, gift that you made yourself. Uh, now the other thing that you learned today was what's the meaning of utang na loob. Uh, again, I'm sure if you're Filipino, you know what that means, but it means debt of gratitude. It means doing something for somebody else who might have done something for you and you want to show your appreciation back. Uh, well, that's about it for today's episode. I hope you enjoy episodes like this DIY, uh, the one that we just did before this one, the travel one up in Ilocos. That was a great video. I'm so happy with that one. Uh, it's a little different from the other travel videos that we did. And such that we showed so much great uh, visual contact. I really didn't need to do what I'm doing right now, do a lot of talking. Uh, so if you haven't seen that, please go back to our last episode and check that one out. Great episode. Anyway, I'm going to close for now. And if you enjoy episode just like these uh, please give me a thumbs up please share and if you have not subscribed just click on the little my pi dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen you'll be subscribed and if you ring that bell you'll be notified the next time i upload a new video so until next time from right here in the very beautiful philippines you have a wonderful and blessed day today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well